Well, tonight, donations are pouring in for those burned out of their Manchester apartment buildings. These huge flames left little behind, and residents now trying to figure out what happens next. WMUR's Heather Hamill has more on a Facebook request that some hope will help people get back on their feet. Heather? It really is amazing how a social media push can really get the word out, and that's what happened with St. Raphael's right here in Manchester. They were amazed at the outpouring of support that they got and the generosity of the people here. You can see that the building behind me, the windows are boarded up. This building and the one next to it completely destroyed by fire, and it's just a stone's throw away from the Paris parish, and so it leaves people in their very own community with nothing. It came in boxes. It came in bags. 8 a.m. we had somebody here, actually a former firefighter, who was here with a load of things to drop off. So uh, it has been busy ever since. Those at St. Raphael's Church say that they were overwhelmed by the number of people who wanted to donate to fire victims. Their generosity is tremendous, uh, very good hearts. And the donations kept piling up, filling tables, stacked on the floor and lining the outside of the building. Driving here today, I'm just having goosebumps thinking that, you know, that could happen to any of us. It happened to one of my friends in Bedford. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you lose everything. And I'm looking around my house and thinking, how would I feel to have nothing, nothing but the clothes on my back? And that's what happened to the 17 people who lived in these two apartment buildings on 2nd Street in Manchester. Cell phone video shows fire ripping through the two on Saturday, leaving all the tenants homeless. Thinking of them, Geraldine Kelly brought towels and clothes. Furniture and even gave from her wallet. Thank you so much. I piled up stuff in my house and brought it over. Abby Laughlin works at a nearby school and believes some of the kids displaced go there. It's happened a couple times this year. We've had a couple fires in our district, so it's really important to give back to the kids. The church already runs a food pantry and hope chest, so helping their community comes naturally. Sheets and blankets, um, towels, um, pots and pans, dishes. Those are the things that people will have a difficult time replacing. Looking around my house and thinking, how would I feel to have nothing, nothing but the clothes on my back? A grim reality for those who lived here, but clearly the community is behind them. Now, St. Raphael's has been taking in donations all day long, but they now say that due to a lack of space, they just can't take anything more in. However, they are still taking monetary donations so they can get gift cards for these displaced people. Reporting live in Manchester, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.